the pancreas. What's going on, Square Nation? Dr. Shalane bringing you today's wellness wisdom. Today we're talking about one of the digestive organs that uh, is misunderstood and or thought to be a real, real negative if, uh, if you get cancer there. So this is going to be a two, one or two part series, part one, or part two. Uh, we're going to be talking about pancreatic cancer later. So today's going to be the broad strokes of understanding what the pancreas is from a neuroemotional brain-body disconnect standpoint from German New Medicine, okay? If you don't know what the pancreas is, it sits in your abdomen about here. It's responsible for balancing your blood sugar and, of course, your enzymes, and it can get blocked. But we don't know why because people say once you get pancreatic cancer, you're pretty much screwed. I think uh, Steve Jobs and among other famous people had pancreatic cancer, and it's, it's misunderstood. So let's bring some clarity in terms of why the organ might have a struggle, might be dysfunctional and things like that. Um, because it's related to digestion, it's related to an indigestible morsel or an idea. So it doesn't have to be like food, but the food is the metaphor. So being able to, not being able to digest the f idea or the situation or circumstance in your life is, is oftentimes what it's related to. And so it can be related to um, shame. Um, it can be related to a lack of respect, people uh, mistreating you and things like that. So when these things happen, it's hard for your brain to wrap itself around it. And so it becomes indigestible. It's unprocessable. You can't make sense of it. And then that then con that conflict then, because it's in your psyche and your mind, affects the body because your body is your subconscious brain. And as a result, it's usually a major conflict. It's not a minor one. It's something significant, something that's a paradigm shifter, like uh, real significant. Um, people lose respect for you or they treat you with disrespect. They might treat you as though you've done something shameful. Um, from a GNM standpoint, German medicine, the, the, the pancreas is about struggles, uh, anger and struggles. So anyone who's had pancreatic issues has had anger issues, has had struggle issues. So Steve Jobs, if he did, if I'm not mistaken, dealing with pancreatic cancer, among other people, he would have had a lot of anger. He was known to have a pretty, a pretty fiery personality, as an example. And so, um, what do we got here? No thanks. All right, so um, thinking along those lines, this can happen within the family as well. Like, let's say you're in your home and you have a conflict with a family member and it's like, it's annoying. Maybe you had a sibling who's just, like I had a brother, I have a brother. He's six years older than me. And it, needless to say, he spent a few years picking on me. Um, being six years older than me, I was an easy target. Um, our family was not very functional. Um, he needed an outlet and here I was. So I would have had <laughs> every right to develop pancreatic issues because I would have had an annoyance in my territory. I would have had someone who was picking on me um, we would have been fighting for the morsel, like fighting for love, fighting for attention. Um, the morsel is like the idea, it's not food. So keep in mind, when we talk about indigestible morsel conflicts, we're not talking about food. Um, he could have complained that I got treatment different than him, so he would have, that morsel would have been his idea, he would have been having trouble with, he would have had trouble digesting that morsel if I were to get, fa he felt like I was favored or something like that. This is all, I want to give you these examples so you can understand how it plays in your life. Not just the, uh, so examples are really help, helpful for you to understand. Um, when we get attacked from the outside, when, when there's this shame, someone shames us, someone makes us feel like, um, you know, you've been a bad person, you've, did, you've done a bad thing, they start shaming you, like, you're now obligated to make up for that, whatever you did. As a result, then it's like, we can feel trapped in our territory, that could be at work, it could be in a relationship, it could be at home, like, you know, in German medicine, they use the term den, the den is like the nest, so thinking about in your, in your environment, it's like when you feel like that, that trapped, if you will, um, and you, you, can't, you feel like you don't have any, um, any say, it's forced upon you. Uh, it could also be that um, if there's a family struggle, you can feel like you get expelled, like kicked out. Uh, you've been um, abandoned, um, vanquished out of, the, out of the nest, out of the den, out of the family and things like that. That can also cause that struggle and that anger that develops in the, in the pancreas. And as a result, then you feel that. And if you've ever had pancreas pain, which most people don't feel it because they don't develop this to the extent that they do, but it feels like indigestion. It can cause um, indigestible uh, feeling like you can't swallow food because if you get enough inflammation in your small intestine because your pancreas is so inflamed and swollen and pushes on your duodenum, your small intestine, then you're not going to be able to really digest very well. Um, so these are kind of the major themes that you can consider. Um, there was one outlier which was really kind of far afield. Uh, there was a reference to a man who slept with the mother and the daughter. That was part of the, the, the struggle in the pancreas. I don't know, 
uh, th that was just what I was reading about, and it was like, wow, that's pretty interesting. So most of it's about digestion, but I suppose that, um, for the mother or daughter, that could be an issue of the indigestible morsel conflict as well. Remember, it's the idea, the concept, like how do I deal with that? I can't digest it. I can't make sense of it. I can't process it. Okay? So that is your lesson for today. Remember, that's part one, so stay tuned. Uh, tomorrow I'll do part two, pancreatic cancer, some of the themes related to it. Remember, we're not looking at all aspects. We're looking at just the fundamentals, like the basics. So the, there are nuances to all these. There are ways of uh, extrapolating it or applying it to your life. So just look back at this, write this stuff down, you know, use your um, Google or excuse me, uh, just use Microsoft Word to like dictate this into your document so you can see it if, if, if I speak too fast or something like that. And then you can see it in front of you. Um, and you, it'll be able to sink in more, okay? So I uh, hope this has been valuable. Hope that you find it thought-provoking and hope it helps you understand someone in your life. Hope it helps you understand yourself if you're dealing with pancreatic issues. You know, pancreatitis, this is what this is, inflammation of the pancreas. Itis just means inflammation. So pancreas and itis and pancreatitis, it's all just inflammation. Um, so instead of thinking, I have an issue with my pancreas, think about where's the anger, where's the struggle, where is, um, where if I feel like I'm, I have a territorial issue and I can't digest whatever stress is going on in my life. So use these ideas uh, to enhance your life, and we'll look forward to bringing you to the segment tomorrow on pancreatic cancer. All right, guys, have a great night. Bye-bye.